Okay, three, two, one. Turn your key to the right and hold and tell me when launch enables on. Yeah. It's on, let go of your key. We have now started a process that cannot be stopped. There is no oops button. Next light that comes on says battery is activated. That means the missile batteries are now charging. It takes 28 seconds to charge the missile batteries. The next light will come on when the batteries are fully charged and it's going to say APS power. That means the batteries are charged and the missile's going to take over on its own systems. Doesn't need us for electricity anymore. The next light that comes on is going to say silo soft. The 760 ton silo door is now starting to move and you hit the alarm. I love it when it works like that. <laughs> okay, next you're going to have guidance go. The missile's going to take over on its own guidance system. Next, we're going to have fire engines. We're going to hear a fire alarm. There's going to be fires going on in the silo as these engines are firing. A fire alarm. Water is going to be pouring into the bottom of the silo, and we're going to have liftoff. In 30 to 35 minutes, target two is going to cease to exist. But your job's not done yet. You have to close the silo door. You have to put out all these fires here in the silo, all these fire lights that are on. And your orders are to wait for further orders. But the Air Force was very good to you. They're giving you 30 days of food and water. That's what you had, and less of recirculated air. So at the end of that time, you're going to have to decide whether you're going to take our emergency exit and go out and see what's left of the world, or are you going to stay down here and face the consequences with your crew? Because you're probably going to suffocate. It's a pretty sobering thought. But no commander ever had to make that decision because we never launched this missile. This is a retaliatory weapon. We never would have fired first. So we would have to have known that there was incoming before we fired our missile. The reason we didn't have any incoming at any of the 54 sites, we didn't launch this. Let's say you and your country is thinking about firing at me. And you say, if I do that, she's got a Titan II with a nine megaton warhead. I'm gonna fire at her, she's gonna fire back, and we're gonna have what's called mutually assured destruction. That concept was so powerful, peace through deterrence, you heard that in the movie, that we've had peace through this time. We never had to fire that weapon. So it's a pretty good concept. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna give you a little souvenir for your service today. I understand you all, I got two here with your name on it. Oh, in case your name is spelled differently, he wasn't <laughs> sure if you were I or why. Okay, she's taking the eye. Okay, now. The wine is the place. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, Commander Patty, I thank you. Her card says I turned the key. Now, uh, we're going to go down and see if the missile's still in the silo. 